My bad on that, guys. My bad. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're awake now, because if you weren't, that alert sure as shit did it. I could probably turn that off. All right. So how are we all doing? That's no good ratio. Retario. <laughs> hey, that's your alert when you get an email? Oh my god. You know, I suspect that average lifespan of 1657 is probably absurdly long. I think I'm like a minute and two seconds on my main account. Could be wrong though. 50% survival rate is pretty good. Pretty happy about that. We've got like 150 hours on the account. I do like that our longest shot distance is a headshot, though. I do like that. Went back, watched that clip again, dude. <laughs> that was a long ways away. My, uh... Longest shot on my other count is like it's literally 666 meters. It's fucking creepy. I don't even know where it was. To be honest with you, I don't know where I shot, who I shot, or where I shot him from. I mean, the only place I can think of doing that would be shoreline, shooting at somebody from a resort all the way down at docks. There's a little spot there you can shoot right at the bridge. Church, my man. Yo, why didn't the, uh... I don't get it. Why didn't the TTS work? Six more months of interchange. Fuck. Fuck, dude. I just went through that video again right now, and oh, God. 
Do what do we have to do back on interchange still? Uh huh. We still gotta go pull up, kill a PMC at night too. I think we're gonna go reserve. I, I'm, I'm not think. I'm geared up to go to reserve. So that's what we're gonna do next. Hey, Chloe. Good morning. Same to you, dude. I did. That's fucking funny as fuck, church. So, we don't need a lion, but I know we need, I think we need a, where's the other living high is not a crime app. Wait, did we get that in? No, we didn't get the other vase yet. There it is. So we need a vase and a teapot. We gotta kill Glooker. What do you guys think? Should we uh, should we barter for a uh, red rebel? Since we're uh, since we're gonna go interchange now, should we uh, should we barter for a red rebel? You think? Is that the route we should go? And we have the money. It should only cost about two mil, give or take. Oh no, I didn't start a scav case. Rip. Ah! Robbery! Oh wow, nothing's running. We better fucking... Failure right now. Failure. Are any of you guys interested in hideout videos anymore? Or are we kind of pat? Do you guys think we're past that in the wipe? I kind of dove in last night a little bit and looked at some things, and there's some unexpected stuff there. But what are you doing, cat? Meow. Fuck yourself. Fucking cat. Hate that cat. Oh, we gotta sell some greenies. Sell some greenies. So apparently you can make money. With slickers. One of the things I noticed. Pile of meds is still the best, but SJ6s are definitely there. I don't know, because I, I feel like I just, I need to do some other content other than the Alpha to Kappa. I haven't touched a single fucking video of my own in several weeks. Church does all the work now. I got something stuck in my teeth. Oatmeal, some sort. All right, what were we going to do? I told you to go away. No. Okay. 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 Oh yeah, we were gonna barter for the 
flea market or the flea market, the uh, Red Rebel. Church, uh, what time is it for you right now, bud? That's not the Red Rebel. 15 propanes. Uh, I'm running the Moonshine right now, Vort, to try to get streamer items. It's 12.24. So you're two hours ahead of me. So, uh, six, say like 6.37-ish. You want to sit down and bullshit? Yeah, what is propane selling for right now, I wonder? Not too bad. One. One. Ah! One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. This is why I tell you guys to, uh, you know, hang on. List your propane's high because you just saw me run it up to sixty thousand. Fuel conditioner. Uh oh, somebody else is doing a red rebel barter right now too. What's the best for like a green key card? Uh, probably Intel Vort. Um, but the Moonshine's gonna give you a shot at that, and I know guys that have gotten it on the 85k too. Yeah, Church, we sold uh, we sold our uh, thick item case and our thick weapon case, and then bartered for another thick item case. Made that made us like eight mil, plus another eight mil for whatever we sold the fucking thick weapon case for, you know. We are not going to have a whole bunch of money anymore, though. What is the fastest way to level hideout management? Um, I am wondering if it's not bugged. And I'll show you in a second here why I'm thinking that. That the, the infamous reset bug is back, unfortunately. Um, I haven't had time to devote uh, a whole bunch to it to go look at it in depth. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Five more. Fuck. Okay. We'll run her all the way up. Give me that red rebel. There we go, boys. We got red rebel. What are uh, fucking paracords selling for? Are they still expensive as all fucking hell? I don't know. They're cheap. Perfect. Okay. 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 Um, because I've even been trying to level it and I'm only level seven. So I know they reduced it a whole bunch and it doesn't level anywhere near as fast as it used to, but I still think it's bugged. Yeah, I'm kind of with you church. Um, I mean, it's a free access to money, right? Um, and I feel like it's a big, a lot of people using that thick item case buy are people that are unscrupulous hackers if you may so it'd be nice like if that was like one quest item you didn't get found in raid like here you go here's your thick item case but you don't get to sell it and barter and make a million rubles because it it put us from struggling to fuck we're hunky dory we don't have to worry about, I, we're probably not gonna have to worry about money for the rest of the time i say that but Oh, we all are, dude. I, I rushed the quest too, man, just to get the thick. I needed the case just because of the stash. I, I still haven't up. Uh, I still haven't fucking upgraded uh, stash to level three yet, dude. 
fucking 8.5 mil? You can eat my ass with a spoon before I do that. For what? Fucking 10.48? What am I at now? 10 by 38 for fucking 100 slots? No. Right, and the four stats fucking 30 mil. No thanks, I'll just buy another fucking thick case. Because what is this? 196 slots? Pfft. And the barter for that costs all of like 11 mil or 12 mil, I think, depending on time of day. And we're doing good, man. I mean, we've had a couple of days where we're like, ooh, we're kind of high. We're kind of harsh on the stash right now. But I feel like we've been doing fine. All right, reserve, boys. We're going to go play with the big dogs. Yeah, that doesn't look fucking sus as fuck. Wow, dude. You're going to upgrade the stash manually so you get the full experience of the game. After the wipe, I'm going to buy the premium account. <laughs> wait till uh, there'll be another sale coming up, Lime. So wait till the sale comes up before you buy it. Oh, nice, Nickel. That's fucking awesome to hear. DVO, most satisfying gun ever. Well, I'm about to make clean look even better because I can't shoot this. I won't be able to shoot this thing anywhere near as well as he can. Nowhere near as well. 
Which flavor of jerky should you get? Well, it kind of depends on what kind of flavors you like, Nick. Um, jalapeno and the teriyaki are fucking super good, but I also like the mango. The carne asada was fucking super good, too. The dragon's breath is really good, but it is fucking hot. Like, the flavor's amazing, dude. Like, I, like you know, you get those hot wings that they're just, they're disgusting, but they're super hot, and that's what you're going for. Um, the dragon is super hot, but the flavor is fucking unbelievable, especially if you like habaneros. The carne asada. Um, I could, the, the carne asada I can see as a flavor you're either going to love or you're going to hate. There's not like, nah, it's okay. You're either going to like it or you're not. It's sweet. It's got like a sweet flavor to it, but I liked it. I can only eat like three or four little pieces of the fucking dragon's breath at a time, dude. It's fucking, and I'm, I love hot food. Empire Jerky sponsors the stream there, Small. I'm assuming that's what Nickel's talking about. Cause that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, the, you won't be able to do that with a dragon's breath, dude. I can promise you that. I could. I mean, you might be able to sit down and eat it, but you're not going to fucking move for like three days. Your stomach's going to hurt. You're going to be fucking in tears. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings Carolina Reaper Challenge. I have not. Where are we? Ooh, did we spawn up top? What I should be doing right now is fucking looking for players running across. He saw me. Yo, he's still shooting at me. about some news I heard in USA Fauci related there, bud. did a podcast on my um, non-Tarkov related content channel. Um, there's a link in the hangar to it that we dive into it a little bit and talk about it, some of it in detail if you're interested in that.
You know, I'm kind of curious as to where old boy shot at us from. Was that him right there? That is him right there. Yo, that boy is fucking... I'm trying to think of where I can get a good shot at him from, you know? And he's not gonna see me. I just don't know if there is one, to be honest with you. You know, the smart thing to do is just get out, guys. We got that lion. We don't know where that guy's at. He's obviously dialed in on us. We've already taken one round. Make use of our good old... Oh. Well. Maybe we should bring a Rick, huh? We might not be past seven minutes, but we definitely looted enough to get the XP. At least I hope so. I would assume so. 300 XP with a line and everything else. Yeah, plenty of XP. Where's the uh, loot? Loot XP, where is that? 248. Oh, we were fuck. We didn't have enough, dude. The f <laughs> huh? We were past seven minutes, though. I guess weren't we?
Okay, we can go turn that in. This isn't required for Kappa, but it's one less task that we have to do. Plus, it gives a bunch of money, I think. 21 rounds of... Oh, that must have been something that didn't sell on the flea market. Makes sense. Okay, uh, that'll sell for a lot. 165000 And paper will sell for quite a bit. Actually, we'll save the paper because we'll use that to craft Intel. And the rest of this crap be looted. We'll just put in here for now. Yeah, we might actually have to make a move and sell some of this shit. Oh, yeah, we still got the roller, too. Do we need the roller for anything? Oh, we have to turn it. We have to turn it in, don't we? Yeah, we we got that one done already, Goldway. We got that one done. Nice fade. I am getting a haircut uh, today at five o'clock, actually, Goldwave. So I don't look like a fucking hobo anymore. Prepare the old Karund. I'm wondering if he hit us with M80. I kind of feel like that's what he hit us with. One is needed for the quest bullshit. Yeah, I think I, we'll keep it for that quest. It's a roller and a thumb drive or something, right? That you got to hide. You got to get that thumb drive off the fucking car, that red car. Ugh. All right, Gold Wave. Thanks, my man. Glucker, we need to kill a Glucker. Oh, I, f I fucking took the paracord out. Oh no. I took the paracord out. Rip. Part of me wants to extract ca extract camp scavs, player scavs. Go up into what is it, Black Pond, that you can see towards the hole in the fence. Wait for poor little scavs to go waltzing out that way, heavy as fuck. Drill them in the head, level up sniper skill. <laughs>
Little loop pinatas. The waiting for players is always longer on reserve because it takes forever for people to load in. Okie dokie. <sighs> oh, dear. Wait, can't you get up there? I guess not. Get up here, though. Oh my god, that is not good. We got a contestant right on the roof here. I don't think we're going to get a very good shot at him, though. I was hoping he was going to be dumb enough to go right there. Maybe we catch him on the other roof? Hard to say.
mean, he's a hatchet runner, so he's probably going to head for extract, wouldn't you think? Hey, swag team. Oh, right now we're just trying to get some shooter born in heaven done. Get some sniper kills, get our sniper leveled up. On this account, uh, what are we, 15 mil now? Just 15 or 16 mil because we just bartered for a Red Rebel? There he goes. All right, boys. Here is our shot. When he goes to loot in there. You bought T7s? Nice, man. Oh, no. Don't die. What's the kit right now? I am running a DVL and a VSS. Son of a bitch. Is that Gluhar in the gang, you think? Yeah, I, I was kind of wondering if that was just a fucking coal pack helmet that he had on or not. Kind of what it looked like. Our fucking hatchling probably just got murked. Figures. Wow, SWAT. Wow.
flash, huh? There's some excitement. I feel like we should fucking relocate here. Nice swag. Yeah, the Twitch Rivals armbands are, uh, it's just supply and demand, dude. Somebody come outside so I can shoot you. Look, I'll shoot scavs right now, even. Happily. What do we need? Two on here, I think. Yeah, we just need two more, man. Two more and we're done. Like, this is kind of a... Um, we're kind of in a gig right now where we are trying to level up snipe. Like, this would be way easier with an SV-98 or a fucking M4. But uh, we want to level up sniper skill. We got to get it to level 5. No, 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 we don't do we don't need to cheese man the one I was worried about like I was like I was legit gonna be like all right with Tarkov shooter eight we're gonna give it a good college try right but if we go like 15 20 raids and can't get it done we'll cheese it just just so we can get it done and then we'll, I'll make a video about how shooter born eight's broken well that ain't gonna happen because I got it done on the first fucking try so There's a scav of some sort. He's going to walk inside, though, it looks like. Yo, is everybody just tunnel ratting right now? Is that what's going on? Is everybody just fucking underground? How far of a hold is it to there? So right at three.
Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the bunkers myself, man. Like, it's weird because I don't even feel like we're seeing scavs anywhere. Like, regular scavs. Hey, Slaughter. Right, we're going to go. Whoa, don't break legs. I'm gonna go grab our backpack and reposition a little bit here. See if we can get eyes on somebody in the fucking night buildings. We do need to hit safes though, because we still do need vases and teapots and fucking raven. Oh, I didn't take the paracord out. Oh, nice. That's handy. Pretty quiet, Slaughter. Pretty quiet, man. Saw one hatchling run by, couldn't get a shot at him, and he got murked by fucking scavs. Oop, I see a scav. We can finally shoot something. So this is kind of one of my favorite places to sit and snipe because you're super hard to see. You're generally hard to see. You're not impossible, but you're pretty hard to see. You're not silhouetted hardcore. I'm guessing that's a fucking player scav. Where we be? That's a SVD shooting. Oh, I saw you up top, Boyle. Yo, that is a long shot, fellas. How was that high, guys? Was I just high on that just by a little bit? Or was I low? I don't think I think I was just high.
Got him. Go loot him. Go loot him. You know you want to loot him. I need to get my arm stamina. I hit him. I hit him. And that's a player out there. That's not 200 meters. That's like 350, give or take. I just see him down there. Oh yeah, that's like two, I forget what it is, but yeah, you're right, it's like 200. That's a lot easier of a hold. Whoever that was broke their fucking legs. For sure when they jumped off. How funny it would be if they died. <laughs> if I hit that guy, did damage and he died. I think that would be funny. There he is, I just saw him going right to left. Oh my god, that's such a far shot, dude. <gasps> oh, it wasn't a shooter born in heaven, though. I must have hit him in the shoulders. I thought that was a shooter born in heaven. Because he definitely dropped. The desync showed up. Like it had to decide if it was going to kill him or sec. You know what, dude? I'll, I'll, I'll zero to 300 and we'll shoot out there and see what we get. Shoot at the tank. Zero to 300. And we'll shoot right at the top of the radio. Oh, yeah. It's really fucking close to 300, dude. Well, he's certainly hurting.
Well, guys, what do you think? Do we even go down and risk it and check that and take train out or what? What do you guys think? See if he had fucking some sick ass mark room loot on him or do we just bounce? Oh, I didn't want to go down like that. Because we know there's a couple of dead scab bodies over there, too. We can check RBST on our way by. an awful lot of activity there all of a sudden. I'm wondering if player scabs ran into... Blue Heart, maybe. All right, let's do one more quick scan, grab our backpack, we'll head over. Loop our way around. Ooh, I need food and water. I didn't bring any of that like a dummy. Started Tarkov and then started streaming. A couple of months after Tarkov. Quick run through here for any good items. Well, this room was fucking. 
fucking bunk. Really nothing? Oh, there we go. Just had to look closer. Let's grab some food and water and go check our boys. See if there should be some in here somewhere. There's almost always food and water in this room. But there isn't right now. Okay, well. Operative. Uh, pretty quiet, man. Trying to get shooter born is proving to be challenging. First raid, we got a fountain raid lion, so we just bolted with, and somebody was shooting at us, and we couldn't tell from where, so we just bolted. Am I overweight? How am I that overweight already? That I'm not even regenerating stamina. That's some bullshit, dude. carrying that's so heavy it's all the ammo i guess two guns Kind of a nice motion that guy had. I'm guessing this is the mark room loot. Leave that SVD behind, but the mag isn't found in right. That's interesting. Yo, he slaughtered some fucking player scabs over here, huh? I mean, legit, the HK is probably not even worth fucking taking, to be honest with you. What ammo's in it? 
That'll do the trick. Nice operative. Oh, no, Asa. Train still here? Yep. Is that it leaving? No, we got a minute, right? That means we got a minute. Ooh, it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight, boys. There's the fucking hole in the fence. Which door? I don't remember which one opens. Oh, we're not gonna make it. That was close. Three hundred and twenty nine point eight with a thorax kill. Damn. Two hundred and six point five meters. Point like a tiger. You are correct, Pyre. <laughs> oh, I didn't think we were gonna make it. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to throw loot out because I'm not gonna. Be, it's gonna take me two years to get all the way back up top. Yo, Pyre, thanks for the resub, my man. Four months, dude. Actually, I should be doing this instead because it's faster. Fucking Corunda's heavy as fuck, dude. Should be running an ACPC, but we'll keep doing this for now, I guess. We'll keep doing this for now. Top off. Ah, eh, we still got plenty of 62. We're good. Get rid of some of these fucking grenades we don't need, though. Ooh, I do need that. Wait. Take that. Okay. Go try it again. TSM just signed a naming rights deal with cryptocurrency exchange worth $210 million. Ah, fuck, there's fucking so much free money around that, dude. Who knows what that means? It could mean anything. To be honest. That was wrong. Click. Keep clipping over here. Fucking that up. Uh, what else was I going to sell? This maybe? Ooh, APSX. We'll sell that. That's worth fucking... That's worth a bunch. Okay. Okay. Let's... Actually, let's look at the repair of this. That's good. 
And we'll go right back in. At some point, we're going to have to go fucking hunt Gluhar. Oh, fuck, I insured that diary. There's so much bullshit money flowing around esports right now, dude. Like it's it's I don't even say it's bad money. It, it the money's real, but it's just the expectation. There's no real expectations for any of that shit to actually make money. There are the gaming industry's lucrative guys, but the fucking esports teams, they don't make any money, man. None of them ever have. They're just fucking, they just burn money. The organizations, none of those companies, none of those organizations make money. And I dare say that uh, um, the ones that do aren't actually esports orgs, they're fucking merchandise stores. Because that's where they make most of their money. There's no way. I don't believe it for a fucking second, Nickel. I don't I don't fucking believe it for a second. Esports teams are making money during the pandemic. Nah, when they weren't beforehand, when they were, you know, when they could fill fucking stadiums and, you know, do big fucking events and sell tickets. They weren't they, but the year of the pandemic when they couldn't do any of that, they made fucking money. I don't fucking believe that for a second. And they have every incentive to fucking make the books look like they do make money through some fucking legit accounting method so that they can bring sponsors in. Sounds like we're in the basement.
Okay. Do, do, do. Where do we spawn? Not a great spot for us to fucking actually do anything, unfortunately. Yo, I am so out of practice with this fucking game. There's a place I could get prone and look out. That VS the VSS build I'm running now, um, it's not too bad. The PK06 makes it fucking expensive, unfortunately. It's going to be that just my luck that one that I'm going to be here and we're not going to get a fucking hatchling or anybody that jumps down in there. Just watch. Is that a glue hard guard or just a fucking juicy scab? And we'll find out at the end of the raid. need to get over there and kill fucking glue heart boys I feel like that was a fucking gluhar guard, don't you guys? Do you guys feel like that was a gluhar guard? Level four armor, U lock. But where's the other scout at? There's usually another scout out here. Oh, it was 100% a U lock. Oh, please tell me that's glue heart right there and I can shoot him right in the head. Well, it wasn't glue heart. He's probably in the fucking hallway over there somewhere. Yeah, the guards don't necessarily always have helmets, though. I'm 
Most of the time they do, but they don't always have helmets. Yeah, he has a black muscle shirt on. Has a bastion with slap plate. Yeah, Gluar can have a couple of a couple of different kinds. I've killed him with uh, uh, the ZBH helmet and no face shield and all sorts of stuff. They've got a pretty uh, broad spawn pool. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's just a regular scab walking in right there. Where'd he go? I'm thinking we just saw a fucking geared scab, guys. I think that's all that was. It was just a really geared scab. You've never seen a scab with a U-lock? Oh, I have. Don't get me wrong. We're going to go over there and fucking make for, make sh for damn sure. But the fact that I didn't see any other... Uh, The fact that I didn't see any other guards anywhere moving around tells me that it's, uh... Not Gluhar. Guts, no, no guts, no glory. Since I scab. Thanks for the raid, my man. How was your stream, buddy? Welcome everybody. We're uh, glue har hunting and shooter born in heaven hunting, and right now we've got an, a, a disagreement on whether glue har is over there or not. How's everybody doing today? Oh, we're gonna go knock. I just gotta make sure that there's no fucking sneaky sneakies sitting around waiting for me to cross over. Because I can't tell if it was that fucking numbnuts we saw in the window, but we saw a silhouette right there. And I can't tell if it was that fucking scab or not. Oh. I 
I think you boys might be right. That might be Gluhar over there. No, that was a shooter born in heaven. Nope. That was a skull mask. <gasps> Saw him again in the hallway right there. I think you guys are right. I think it is Gluhar now. So two guards down? How's the stream, Sensei? Dope stream, one for the record books that you'll never forget. Well, shit, dude, that's the best, dude. Those are fucking awesome, man. We've had a couple of those the last couple of days. All right. Fuck yeah, dude. Let's go find ourselves a nuker. We're gonna pre pain Oh, I don't have any food or water. Son of a bitch. I'm a dumbass. We gotta eat and drink before we go over there. No, oh, there's sprats. Got food covered, now we need something to drink. Can't drink tools. Yeah, there's plenty below Black Bishop, I know. You're right. We should probably just go that way, huh? Kinda hoping to get lucky and find some over here before we ran across, but. Because I want to pop a fucking water before we go across. Or a pain pill. I don't want to go down a tunnel, show. We haven't heard a fucking peep up on top. This whole raid, practically. Not a fucking peep. We might get lucky and find some uh, water on our way, our slow walk over. Slow but loud. Actually, you know what we'll do is we'll just go basement first. Because there is ration crates down here, so we should find food in them. For sure. We can't eat those. Peas will help, juice will help. There we go. and clear out Gluhar. Hopefully. are they at? Yeah. Eight, 
tips for tremor headshot task uh <laughs> just uh make sure your arm stays broken go into factory and repeat and don't heal that's usually the way i do it i usually get it done passively doing other tasks like i don't try to just do it fuck you gluar One on Stuka. That was a little fucking chaotic, huh? There's still one more. That other one got away. Where'd he go? What are we on ammo here? I still think there's, I think there's more than one actually. Did he fucking run outside you think? He did. That cocksucker ran outside. Here's the first one we killed. Yo, having everything all like fucking not searched is annoying. Be 
PP? Oh. That gives us some good slots. Alright, I think we throw the VSS out now, fellas. I think we throw the VSS out. And the DVL, to be honest with you. DVL right there. Oh yeah, that's really well hidden. Probably a bad idea doing this before I'm fucking got a gun picked up, but hey. So good in the hood. He thought he hit the jackpot. He thought he hit the jackpot. Money, money, money. That you lock's not worth that much. What did old boy have? Let's see. What else can we get rid of here? Crackers. We ain't gonna eat the sprouts. That's not worth taking. Those are probably not worth taking. These are worth like 50k a piece. Fast MT's worth taking. Grenade. And we'll get... Yeah, I see my water level, man. We'll be good. We're going to head out here in a sec anyways. Okay, so we do that and that. And that. And that. And that. Um... Trying to think that's not worth taking. Those definitely are. That is not. And we'll put a good grip. Oh my god, come on. Which one is it? It's the No, it's this guy, right? Yep. So we'll take you off and we'll put you on. Buys us one slot. And we put you in there. And you in there, and you like the uh, do that and we take the five by three and that and those and we go look for water I have two M62s taking up space I will toss those out where are they at? oh yeah you're right look at that how much ammo do we have about half
what are we on water? Oh, fuck, we're heavy. Yeah, you're not wrong about the mules, my friend. The SJ6 is necessarily going to buy us, bud. Um, maybe, but... What's that? Ooh, another one of those. Those are worth a bunch. Checking for the goodies. And now we get the fuck out. Granata, tu! Okay, now we get the fuck out. Where are we on water? We are 15 of water, so we should be good all the way up, up top on water. Oh, that's gonna break legs. Oh, maybe not. In the SJ6, is it really going to give us that much, you think, guys? Uh, poor decision here. Really poor fucking decision here. Because it doesn't give us any strength, right? Yeah, it just gives us more stamina. I mean, it's not going to give us all that much to make the run. We got a long ways to go. It's just going to take time. I don't have anything to drink either, which kind of sucks. We're headed up to, uh, we're headed up top, bud. We'll go use the Red Rebel Extract. Yeah, I'll just throw the Corund out when we get up there. Helio. Oh, 
<laughs> it's our strength. So weak. But we've actually done pretty good on money. Doing pretty good. I think the helmets are okay. I think I just fucked up the face shields. I'm pretty sure I just shot him in the face with fucking um, the DVL on those two guys. I know one of them I did. The other one I'm not totally sure. Yeah, I still have the DVL magazine. What are we on sniper? Damn, we're still a long ways away. Because the TV rig... Oh, the TV rig is not fucked up. Yeah, you're not wrong, dude. Eh. Too late, dude. We could have picked up another rig and got a little bit more loot out of it, but... You know... It's not like we're fucking... Running light right now or anything. We get into a firefight, we're gonna be one hurting... One hurting dude. I assumed I'd fucked up the TV rig when I came up and shot Gluhar. I must have shot him in the fucking face. Oh yeah, I hit him in the head. The Bastion's fucked up. Fingers crossed that there's no extract campers. What's the hardest scav boss in your opinion? Probably Gluhar. Um, and it's not because Gluhar himself is hard, but his guards can be over the top. It's either him or Killa. I just feel like Killa's a little easier to cheese um, than Gluhar is. You know, what we did right there is how you, how you fight Gluhar. I know this sounds nuts, guys, but we gotta check for vases and shit. How do you cheese killer? Um, uh, I guess maybe cheese isn't the right way to describe it, but, um, He's all by himself, so he's definitely easier to kill in that sense. Like, if he catches you off guard, you're usually fucked. He's going to kill you before you kill him most of the time. There are buildings, it's way easier. Train yards definitely struggle as a solo. Yeah, and so can knights. It depends on how they, they assemble Falk because the AI is actually really good on Gluhar and his guards are like mini killers. If you're up close and his guards come at you, they 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 will power rush you just like Killa does and kill a slide and everything, man. Ooh, what a raid, boys. Lots of headshots, too. Sanitar is definitely tough, too. You know, he's kind of like Killer, right? If you run into Sanitar and don't expect it, and you don't get him killed right away, it can be a fucking nightmare to get him killed. Especially as far as they run sometimes. And you never know quite where... They'll, like, run off, and you're not, you're not sure where the fuck they ran to. Liston and I both thought we we died to one of his guards once and thought we died to a hacker because of how the headshot went down. 
He shot us in 206 on uh, West Wing, and he was outside, outside the gate by the truck um, on that road that runs down to bus is where he was at. And he fucking headshot both of us. And we were, and we thought we got killed by a hacker because it's just how it went down. And then we see it was a fucking scab boss and we both just laughed. All right. Well, we can go turn in that task. And now it's time for Raiders. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Nice little pretty penny there. And I'm betting... I hope this is the good ammo. It is good. We can sell that for quite a bit. Well, it's going to be a boring little couple of minutes here, guys, because we do need to clean out this inventory a touch. Whoops. And we've got a lot of shit to sell. I will fire sale it just to get it out and sell it as fast as we can. Where'd that mag go? There it is. But some of this stuff will sell quick as shit. Like these D mags will sell quick. D sixes. And you know what we'll do while we're sitting here waiting for uh, uh, stuff to sell? I will. We'll put the. Uh, I've got some mag pull parts to put on my uh, my MDR. We'll put those on on stream while we sit here and wait for shit to sell keep it uh keep it entertaining for you fellas yo i bet i can still sell those face shields for a fuckload even though they're broke can't i you guys still think i can sell these for like 100k what do you got what should i list these for what do you guys think one ruble he says <laughs> we're not playing prices right here dude some of this shit we can just plop in here oh shit that had bp in it too Oh shit, our fucking inventory is completely full. Oh, okay then. We'll sell 150. 125. See how fast it is. See if it sells. Can I even pick up the money? I barely can. All right, so we can sell some shit to Jaeger, I think. We'll sell the that and that and that. Um, that can go into here, or maybe not. We can sell you, you. And what do we sell the therapist to get shit out of the way here? So you to therapist and you to therapist. Yo, that was a... That was a banger raid, boys. Ooh. 345 for a key card? Sure, why not? We got some more BP to sell. What's still listed here? That's probably not gonna sell now, is it? Nope. 
All right, we'll pull that off. That'll sell. Be nice if somebody would buy that. I wonder if I overpriced it. Sell the BP again, though. Oh, all right, so. What we have to do is add some Magpul parts. Um, I have an Embus front, um, but I got to get a rear uh, for it. And we got two rails, so I don't have a flashlight to attach to it yet or a laser. I, I almost bought a Holoxon yesterday, but or the other day, but I didn't. So I need what I need, Allen keys. So I'll go grab my Allen keys and we'll put these on the MDR along with one of my foregrips. P. Eh. Fucking what a raid, guys. What do these sell for? 38, 40k. I think we sell some of this shit just right to mechanic. So the flashlights, the suppressors, sell that and that, and that, and that. Yo, did old boy fucking, no. Sell that, sell the green tracers. And we'll sell this next. All right, let me go grab my Allen keys and a grip, and we'll put uh, we'll put those pieces on there. Be right back, guys.
All right, so I don't quite have the grip that I want, but we have this one. So oh, let's let's go to, does this work? Oh, there we go. So we have this grip here. Um, so we'll put it on. Ugh. Empty. Uh, let's move the camera so you guys can actually see. <clears throat> see how much, how weird this looks with the green screen and shit. Hey, JVH, I'm glad, dude. Glad it's helpful, dude. I gotta do more. I gotta be more helpful for you guys. All right, so this in the game, if you guys are wondering, is your M lock uh, orange trail. Which one is it? Let's go look here real quick. Oh, it's the same one. It's uh, it's this one right here, actually. Take that off. Oh, it isn't that one. Huh. Is this the two inch? Interesting. Is it this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. No, it's like in between that. Similar though, as you guys can see. You could say you about the bullpup, but at least it's a 308, man. This thing fucking hammers. It's a lot of fun to shoot. So we'll get our little T pieces. So this is why it's funny that some of these things you can change in raid and some things you can't. Cause like, this is a process. Like you need tools to actually. Oh, holding it too high, you're right. So there's little, there's little T pieces here on these things. How well you guys can see that? Probably not very well. Right where my, right where my thumb is here. So those are the pieces that go inside and tighten down to the, um, actual rail. So what we'll do is on the bottom, get them lined up. And hopefully they will tighten this boy. We'll see. Doesn't look like it's tightening all that much. In a while since I've done this. Do we got more shit we can sell? So the whole point of this was so I could sell shit while we were. Oh. What else should we sell? We'll sell this stuff. Six ninety, add, and five five six sells for about four twenty five. And then what else do we sell? These MP5 mags sell for a lot, actually. Oh, no, they don't. Oh, I must have been thinking the other mags. Shit, those weren't worth taking. Our face shield sold, too. That's amazing. Hmm, interesting. Interesting conundrum here. How do you get these things to lock in enough to where I can... Curious, very curious. Ah, missed my bipod grip. I ran on my M4 fucking armory made me give it to them, even though I bought it after market. What Helios? That's bullshit, dude. You 
say anything to your staff sergeant about her? anything, dude? Yeah, I tried that, Jigato, but it's it's the fucking anti the. Yeah, maybe you're right. Let's try that again. Maybe I wasn't doing it all the way right way. I still feel like I'm gonna have to get down in that fucking inside of there with a fucking wrench to get it tight all the way though. The part that I'm not, I didn't even fucking think about that. Like I feel like when I put the one on my, my, uh, eight, my, my, uh, AR-15 that it, uh, I took the grip off, which we may have to do that for this. Which I think is actually pretty easy to do. Taking the foregrip off of this. In fact, let's just do that. It's fucking way simpler process. Just take the foregrip off. It'll make life so much easier. Taking the suppressor off. Do it so you guys can see it. Hybrid 46, just like it is in the game. And then there's only... There's one Allen key and one push key, and I think the whole fucking thing slides forward, if I remember correctly. Ooh, I might have to go get different tools for this. This is a star, not an Allen key. Yeah, gotta go get different tools. I will be right back. What's the license fee on that thing? Uh, oh, on the suppressor? I can't fucking... Whatever the tax stamp is. What is it? Two or three hundred bucks? You wind copper around him? Ooh, that's a good idea, dude. Thanks for the tip on that. Okay. Add a couple more offers here. Fast MT should sell for a fucking fortune, huh? We got to completely blow apart this M4 too. Disassemble. There's some parts on there that'll sell. All right, so we got my tools. Ah, they're all. It's all the same drifter. The the tax stamp is the same regardless of the item. Yeah, it's just NFA bullshit. At the end of the day.
Okay, that one's out. Is there another one on the other side? There is. And then a push pin, and we can slide the whole thing forward and put our two rails on. So we got a push pin. And that thing's supposed to have a backer on it, I thought. I guess not. Kind of a tight pin. Wait. Okay. Full grip comes forward. Oh, it did have a locking nut on there. Oh no, the fucking. Don't tell me that's too big. Oh no. The compensator's too big, guys. It won't come out. Oh, fuck me. I bet the factory compensator will come off just fine. Oh, there we go. Woo! Just had to give her a little love. There's the MDR without the, without the grip on. Right there. So, now we attach our Magpul stuff. And just like that, we can get to the little rings on the inside. You guys see? One year, I believe. Wait time is about a year. Um, it depends. I, it, dude, it can be all over the place. I've had suppressors take four months and some take nine. Um, there's no real good, like... Did that fall out? The knot, it's right there. Uh, there's no real good, like, rule of thumb for how long it takes, unfortunately. Which is such bullshit. Oh, so much easier. So much easier to do. Oh, she's snug on there now. Yeah, we'll put that on afterwards. Okay, we got another one to put on. Where did I put it there? Yeah. Okay. We'll put the side rail on. So the question is, is do we, man, do we put it up high? I think we just put it on the side. I don't think we put it up high. That is kind of a cool place to put a light, but we're gonna be doing, we, we've got a broomstick style uh, grip anyways, so it doesn't really matter that much. We are gonna put it forward though. I should do this before I try to put it on. Get them started, make it easier on myself. Okay, and uh, voila, voila. Still trying to get a, a range backpack figured out of some sort of stream, uh, a, a streaming bag figured out so I can fucking take you guys out to the range when we go. Cause I really, I might go tomorrow. I really, I haven't been in a long time and I really want to go shooting.
Which side you want it on? Right side, just like in the game. I want it out of out of vision. Just like I usually put them on in the game. And we might change it later, which is no big deal. We can do that. But there we go. We got our grips on now. Uh, so we'll put that back on the gun. The firearm. Oh, wait, hang on. We got to put these... So it's got similar locks to hold it, it just retainer it's got like little retainer nuts on here that I, I, I that fall out if you unscrew it too far like i wasn't sure if they were in there or not so we'll get them started before we Wait, did i just cross thread that I did we're almost cross threaded it anyways Okay. Ah. Like a glove. Retaining pin. That was nice and snug. Aha. Then we'll put the grip on, which I feel like, yeah, that's forward. Oh, do I gotta take this all the way off? Wait, what? I do have to take this all the way off. Well, that's, this is an old ass grip. Buddy might got me this a long fucking time ago. Oh shit, I might not even be able to get it on here. Huh. <laughs> there we go. Almost couldn't get it on. Presser. We'll get the camera back up where you guys can see. It is a night force. Uh, not even. It's kind of. It works like the voodoo, but it's a night force. Press recover. There we go. Oh, that's so much better. That's so much better. All right, well, that little project's done. tools ready to go back downstairs when I go again <sighs> I don't know how much progress we've made though how much progress have we made you guys think I suppose we can get things back to where they need to be huh good I think everything's square oh you guys back here's fucked up what's happening there Yeah, Vortex, that's my, uh, I, I would say Vortex is my favorite optics. Um, I wanted to go with that Night Force optic, though, because they're so, so nice. Night Force is better than Vortex, um, in my opinion. But, wait. Yep. 
Um, they're so expensive. But I have had nothing but fantastic experience with uh, Vortex stuff. Now, I know we had two of these. Where the fuck's the other one? There it is. Yo, we have a lot of stuff to sort through here. Our good old, uh... Hey, formidable. Yeah, I have a one by eight on my scar drifter, uh, a, a one by eight vortex on my scar. Oh, I love that optic, dude. And the first one I bought was fucked up. I didn't know it, but the, the focal plane was fucked up on it. So every time I shot, the uh, reticle would move around, right? And it took me, dude, it took me like two weeks to figure out that's what was going on. And once I figured it out, Vortex just sent me another scope. Like they didn't even wait for me to send the one back. They said, we got one in the mail for you. It'll be there, you know, whatever. And you know, just when you get it, send us the other one back. I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> so that was super cool. Probably sell that. Probably sell that. And that. Yep. What about you? You? The barrel's worth a bunch, isn't it? I don't know. Not really. What about you? Well, we'll just sell you. Sell, sell, sell. Are any of these worth a bunch? Whoa, wrong one. That's worth a bunch. It's worth a little bit. Oh, maybe this is the one that I know. 2.5? 2.1? Nah, who knows? Yeah, 100% Drifter. And Night Force has good customer service, too. Um, you just don't end up using it all that much. I have a lot of guys that are really big into optics and shit, and... If they've got a really nice gun, it gets a night force put on it. Otherwise, they usually go with a vortex. They're one of the few companies that'll make a gun that'll stand up to the vortex and um, night force. Make you know that's the thing about it is their their guns will actually stand up to a uh, that fucking abuse of scar puts on guns, which it is. It's fucking it's a shooting a scar is just abuse on anything you fucking strapped to the top of it period all right can we um just make some room here we know we're gonna sell this stuff we'll vendor that i think these aren't worth anything right yeah no, i don't think so we'll just vendor that to ragman and we'll go into our next raid we gotta, we gotta put, we kinda gotta gear up though. We don't have any gear. It's funny. Put another call run on. Oh, we can take that off. Uh, we don't need that. We will bring Granadas. We've got another DVL sitting right here, ready to go. What ammo's in it though? And yeah, we want M62. M62. Okay. Uh, do we have another VSS sitting around anywhere? We don't. Oh, we do. Right there. What do we have for VSS mags? Is the question. We got three, just like we need. Load SPP. Load SPP. Load SPP. Better buy some more. Okay. Okay. This all ready to go. Yep. Systems check. Any other ammo we can? Where'd that other SPP go? We'll throw it in here. Okay. 
Still can't add anything. Waiting for shit to sell. All right. How far are we from another slot? Quite a ways. Optics cost more than weapons. Yeah, man. I mean, you're talking... Once you start talking, you know, 800,000, 1,200 for optics, it's like, holy fuck. First shot's M61. Oh, we don't need that guy. That's a cell. We got a U-lock in here anywhere? We don't. That's good. We'll go buy one. Ain't too worried. I kind of feel like I should fucking go through the vendors here real quick and make sure that everything is like revealed so we don't have that shit show again. What is that barter now? Seven. Wait, that's only seven G. That's a fucking crazy barter, dude. Seven GP coins. So that's what? Yeah, maybe it's not as good as I thought it was. Pretty close, though. Yeah, it's a 308, fuck. A 308. Do, 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 do. Wait, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we gotta go. we gotta make sure we get everything fucking revealed here. Loading. Skier, Skier and Peacekeeper, the other two we'll go look at. Make sure we get everything properly, properly loaded. Okay. Shit threw me for a loop there for a sec, guys. Mechanic. Peacekeeper. That's the other one we got to do. And maybe Jaeger too. Fucking elevator music for while we're doing this. Fitting. I just don't want to be in raid again and fucking have to... Oh my god, which weapon part goes where? Mer. Can you guys bear with me for a sec? I forgot to make a phone call I need to make to a buddy who's on the East Coast before he's done with work for the day. So I will be muted for a sec. Should be quick phone call.
Oh, never mind. Okay, now that we've got all of the fucking goofy shit out of the way. Like, this might have been one of the best places to actually go, just because of all the random shit he has on him. Okay, now that we're done with that, flea market is still full, right? Yep, that's all right, Stinky. Don't worry about it, man. Appreciate you showing up and saying hi. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Um, cycle the hideout. We'll cycle the hideout and get right back into raid. I say right back into raid. We've been fucking around here for 15, 20 minutes with the getting everything cleared out. I might not even have enough room to do this. Do I have slickers bars? Where's the, where, where is it? Where's the, there it is. I don't even have slickers bars. I think I just crafted some, didn't I? Now we got slickers bars. Exclude bartering items. Give me three. And we'll turn those into Kodura. Or Ripstop or whatever it is. And we'll do green gunpowder again. Okay. We have everything we basically... Ooh, those are cheap. Interesting. Can we get a couple of cheapies here? We can. Look at that. Something sold. Oh, just one of them, though. What else we got listed up here? We got the mags. Is that... Oh, I bet somebody undercut me here by a lot. Oh. Oh, well. We'll see how that goes. Um, Put some of this shit away. Sell it later. Yeah, we have a fucking scab junk box full of shit we have to sell. Like, full, full. Full, full. Now we know what we're doing when we come back. Oop, what just sold? Another mag. Oh, we bought both of them. Okay, so we can list. We can list. What do we list? This this guy. 85, 110, 105. List you four. Get you out of the inventory. Okay. Reserve. Still need shooter born in heaven. Two more. Two more shooter born in heavens.
What are we down to 20 tasks now? What did I say? 21 or 22? 21. So we got 20 tasks to go. And literally, snipe. so if we get sniper to level 5, that is 1, 2, 3 tasks. Right? I believe. 2 or 3. 3. 3 tasks once we get it to 5. And I think when we do that, it'll actually push up one of our other ones we're waiting on as well. I'm going to stand up, actually, fellas. We'll stand. Chair out of the way. Make sure the camera looks good. Oop, too high. There we go. There we go. Stand it up. Stand and gamer. So f you need five, Stinky. So you get to five, you buy three, which gets you to eight, and then Shooterborn in Heaven gives you one as well. So that gets you to nine. Facebook announced that it's going to ban Trump for two years. That's good. I'm glad our, our tech overlords are looking out for us and making sure we're safe from mean words. It's good. Everybody's safer because Trump can't make fun of Rosie O'Donnell on Facebook anymore. One of these costs in real life. Shall we go look? See what a DVL costs in real life? Yeah, it's definitely not going to be cheap. Ooh, and black looks fucking badass, dude. Kind of hazy, huh? Give her a sec.
25 to 30k? Holy fuck. I just saw somebody, didn't I? Did I just see somebody? Somebody up there, though. He's like right there where I can't see him. Is that a glitch or was there somebody? Dude, I'm seeing movement, I feel like, but am I, is it just my screen glitching? Contact's drying out a little bit. See this tower, this tower from shoreline. Like that's shoreline back there. Like you can't quite see resort, but resort's right there. That's the power lines. It's nuts to me how they do that. I just saw him right... Oh, there he goes. Son of a bitch. He's just a fucking hatchling, man. Maybe he'll be dumb enough to come down and get on a mounted gun, huh? You can see the dome from customs? Where? Where do you look? I've never looked, dude. I think I'm leading him too much. And now my arm stamina is fucking smoked. Which ain't helping none. Love the dust on the barrel. There's dust on the barrel? Man, I was hoping we were going to catch somebody coming from this way, but I guess not.
There's our scav friend. God, I'm a bad shot. That one landed home finally. Well, not quite sure what to do. Let's see if we can get some food. Okay. I found three or four in there, Stinky. They can spawn in the freezer or the fridge, either one. Shot at the scav, he stopped and went, nope, we're going the other direction. I was hoping I got lucky. I think it was a player scav. But you never know. I've definitely shot fucking players or players before that I thought were fucking scavs. They ended up being players. I wish I could go fucking prone here. There we go. Kind of exposed, but covers these rooms really well.
You're a dumbass. You, sir, are a dum dum. Give me that shot on the left here. Of course, where he stops is a fucking. Of course, where he stops is a fucking pole. He stopped a loot right behind that fucking pole. And there's two of them running around up there. Okay, so he jumped down. So one of these rooms he can go in, can't he? I'm trying to think of which one it is. One of them's open. Oh, it's this one. I did not know that, Helio. shots gave him fucking haircuts I wonder you know Yo, want. Thanks for the two months, dude. I'm sub. I'm going to have to check my alerts because those have not been going today for some reason. Once they do the inertia change, guys, it's going to change sniping a whole lot. I can promise you that. Sniping is going to be a completely different fucking ball game once they change inertia. Because, like, those quick back and forth moves that guy was doing, he wouldn't be able to do. I'm almost positive I heard footsteps over here. Somewhere. serious armor on too.
benefited by this key nice. I mean, I'm lucky he hit me where he hit me and didn't hit me in the fucking face. All he did was clip my arm, it looks like. One shot, that slug did fucking... 100 and... What's that, 170 damage almost? That's one slug did? Holy shit. What tasks are you on now, Mr. Streamer? Grenade kills? Nope, we got those done. We're uh, we're doing Shooter Born in Heaven and trying to get our sniper skill leveled up. What do we got here? And that sounded like somebody shooting in the tower. I think that might actually be worth something. We can put attachments on that. Those are not worth anything. Let's see if we can get uh, something out of the old marker room, huh? Make sure we don't have any sneaky boys. What we get? Ash 12. Which, what do you have in here? We'll probably just throw some of this out. Ooh, sugar. Yes. Nice of him. It was nice of him. Collect all that loot for us. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I thought <laughs> I threw that out. I was like, wait. Is that a... Is there... I see anything else on the ground? I don't see anything else on the ground worth taking. Ash 12 is it. All right. I feel like we just heard somebody shoot here at one of these fucking towers. <gasps> no way, dude. Guys, no fucking way. How do I get laid down for that shot? It's gotta be 200 meters, right? Oh shit, they see me. They see me! Shit! Fuck, they saw me, dude. Cheeky angle at them. I think we go over to the train building. We go we go up on top of uh, right there, and I think we can get a cheeky angle at them, one that they won't expect. God, I hope they're dumb enough to stay up there. I hope they're dumb enough to stay up there. Please be dumb enough to stay up there. No, it just has to be 100 meters. 100 meter head gone. Prone just lets you uh, aim in longer. Is the really big deal. Oh fuck, they moved. That's the tower they were on, right? God damn it, they weren't dumb enough to stay up there. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty upset over that. I should have just fucking taken the shot 
standing. I wanted to be prone so I could line up and get both shots. I just got greedy. And what I should have done is just fucking taken the first shot and got one. All right, why are we... Is there anything we can get rid of to get us down to weight? What has this got in it? It's got the shitty ammo. That'll give us a little bit. 46. Um, we don't need you. Don't need you. We're going to need something to drink, though, here before too much longer. No, I've got all three of the other ones done, Quake. This is our last map to do. Fuck! Yeah, I just have two, two to do. Two headshots. She sure as shit cleared up a whole lot, though. So if I were those guys, I got spotted. Where would I move to? Or was I looking at the wrong tower? Hmm. I may have been looking at the wrong tower. We're going to go all the way up top. I don't know why I'm picking shit up. No, when I was inside the building, I think I was looking at the wrong tower, is what I mean. When I was inside uh, the train building, I feel like I was looking at the wrong tower there. Yeah, I think they were at the Scavlands Tower is where they were at, because that's the only one you can jump up on. And I was looking at the one that was by heating pipe. Is a hardest shooter born in heaven map? Um, right now, probably customs. Um, just because of where the wipes at in the map, it can be hard to get your shots on customs. Um, but overall, it's probably shoreline because it, you just need luck. You got to find players. Early wipe, it's not too bad, but late wipe, it can be pretty tough to find the players you need to find. So that's the tower they were sitting on right there, and they're not there anymore. So I wasn't looking at the wrong tower. Roofs of K buildings, you think? Well, we've got our little sneaky spot here, so we'll kind of hang out for a little bit and see what... There was something right there we just saw. Because the other place they could have rotated to is that tower back there, I guess. Don't see him there. You let me go prone, or what's the deal here? 
I can never have that much problem going prone there. Fuck. There we go. Okay, I guess we're not going prone. Why won't it let me go prone? There we go. Fuck. Sad face, sad face, sad, sad face. Who is he shooting at? Somebody on the ground. Another rando scav? We did just hear shots to the right. Yeah, poor player scav. He uh, he thought he was sneaky. He jumped off and was shooting. He probably killed whoever that was down there. And then I uh, I proceeded to just ruin his day. But that's what I'm here to do. How are we on sniper skill? 34 of 40. Don't say shit like that, Orion. You're gonna make me want to go check. I want to know where our two other buddies went. Our, our two snipers. Because we're about to get another wave of player scabs here, I think. <laughs> you think they're, yeah, they're over there look, doing the same thing I am right now, looking for me. How funny would that be? Why am I having oh there it is. I was like, why am I having such a hard time seeing that other tower? Crawl, boy. There we go. Yeah, very true. You can't. Sp Yo, that shot just barely missed him. That shot just fucking barely missed his ass. Clean would have hit that shot.
I wonder what extract he has too. Is that a player? Fucking 200. Is that a player? Do I legit think that's a player? Nice stretched. That's your zero, Quake. That's how many yards your site is supposedly supposed to hit at, but it's kind of wonky in this game. You can't fully trust it. So if I had to guess, I'd say he headed straight back. Oh, here comes fucking train right now, too. All right. We'll grab our bag. And I think it's time for us to skedaddle. I would like to get another scav kill. And we are really heavy right now. Why are we so heavy? Is just the Ash 12? Maybe not. Go, oh, that's the whole point. Earthquakes, come in and ask questions, dude. It's the only way you can learn the game, my man. It's honestly one of the fastest ways to get fucking to learn things about the game, to be honest with you. I don't mind answering questions. And most of the chat don't either. Everybody likes to show off how smart they are and how much they know. And then we all get into an argument because we all disagree on something that's completely subjective. It's a good time. Motherfuckers. Just sit still so I can shoot your asses. That's just an eight R. But maybe we get lucky and get a shot.
Yo, why is my air conditioner? Fucking air conditioner won't kick on. It's hotter than fucking here right now. I'm sweating my balls off. We got a target. We had a target. Just call me Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, except for that poor guy, Drifter. I just want one more scab to kill. Give me that one more scab. I'm still mad that I missed that fucking opportunity on Shooter Born in Heaven. Instead of running around like a fucking moron. I should have just fucking lined up and shot one of them. Oh, we're forgetting it, Stinky. We're forgetting that card. Trust me. Like, wait, why am I not extracting? Duh. Because, you know, you can't extract with armor, you dummy. Seven point seven meters. Oh, that was the VSS. Never mind. It's like, who the fuck did I? Since I found a red card the other day. <laughs> I don't care who you are. When you find that, there's a moment of... Oh. Do we have the Veritas guitar pick? We do. We just need the Raven and the Shroud Mask now. I think that's all we need is the Raven and the Shroud Mask. That is it. That is it. Okay. Okay, now what? <sighs> now what? So you... Probably gonna have to sell... Uh, I don't know. It'll probably sell. And you'll sell. Okay, okay, what else do we got here? What else can go into that thing there, there? We should probably bring food and water in the next raid, huh? 
probably be a good idea. Turn the music off for you guys. God, I've always found tons of ravens in like um, safes. What are we going to sell? We'll probably sell the red and the green gunpowders next. And the pile of meds. Sure looks like that's what's the next thing that we need to sell. Sell, 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 sell. Red, red, red. Green, green. Pile of meds. Uh, do we have any M62 left? We do, we got plenty. Okay. What is still listed? Those things, that thing, and that thing. Oh, we're close to selling. Super close to sell. That thing's almost gonna sell for us. And then we got a bunch of other shit to sell. But I think we're ready to go back. Oh, we probably better reload that, huh? I feel like I should bring fucking SPP in with me, man. Like, this is going to be the better play here. Because if we get into a fucking fight again and I don't have, like, if we fight a team and I've got 90 rounds to fight them. Eesh. All right, Orion, have a good night, my man. Yeah, I can probably sell the thermometers and the keck tape to a vendor as well as the cyclone and the mg i don't know does that sell for more or not no it sells for the same so we can sell that thermometer i don't know why those are in there oh those are the that was the 600 meter headshot those can get sold to the vendor we'll vendor those Okay. Ghost teaser. Ch trade stamp shampoo for green stem. Ah, I'm not running it though, Joe. We'll probably just we'll probably sell the shampoo. To be honest with you. Of course, I don't have space for it. Fuck. All right, what do we craft? What do we craft? Yep, this is actually a halfway decent. Oh, especially for that price. Uh, yes, please. Fucking almost double your money on that. <sighs> I was too slow. <gasps> oh, I wanted it. I want them. Give them to me. Steezier, ear, Steez ear. You make money off that Winston? We're using it to craft, we're using it to barter for M1As. And if you do sell it, you can break even-ish. All right, so the greens should sell. I want to wait to sell those. We want to sell those for like 80k. These I'm not too worried about. We'll make money with them no matter what. And then meds, I think we're shooting for like 11,750. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. 
be happy to sell them for eleven two fifty right now. Well. You're too scared. <laughs> the game can be scary, man. It's just a matter of, it's just a matter of playing it to get used to it. Somebody buy my weapon cache. No, he fucking listed underneath me. Hmm. Yo, we go into raid overweight. That's super interesting to me. Like, I, it's not like I'm even all that heavily geared, but we're going into raid and overweight. Do I enjoy the aspect of market inventory organization? Yeah, I do. I do and I don't. Like, it's tough to do it on stream with you guys because I know it's not like the most entertaining thing to watch, but it's super important on this account for me to do it. Um, you know what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drink that now and then we're gonna buy an Aquamarine. Uh, what am I doing? Ragman doesn't sell Aquamarines. Fucking so cheap. They're cheap as waters. Okay. Okay. So I think this is what we're going to do. All right, how's that sound, guys? Can you guys hear the air conditioner too much when I'm talking? All right, good. It's fucking roaring next to me now. Operator error. Good, very good.
Yeah, it's one of those little portable wheelie ones, stinky. I, I run it in the office when it gets hot. Like, it's super fucking hot here this week. Um, unusually hot. So, like, I run it in here in the day when the computer's roaring, because the computer fucking puts off a ton of heat. Two computers and lights and all the other shit um, when it gets hot out. And then I roll it into the uh, girls' room uh, so they have an air conditioner. Cool their room off before they go to bed. Yeah, no, very, very few places uh, uh, in Montana have central air. It just doesn't get hot like that normally here. And, like, it wouldn't be too hot if I wasn't running the fucking computer. Like, that, it just fucking heats the whole upstairs. Please define hot out for you. Well, in Montana, hot out is over fucking 80. But I lived in Vegas for fucking four years and worked in 130 degrees out at the lake, so I definitely know what real hot is. Djibouti, Africa hot. I've, I, I know what hot is, and it's all relative to where you're at and what you're used to. And right now, when in Montana, when it's been... It's, it literally snowed two weeks ago. And now we're pushing 90. And in a room with a fucking... I've, I've got technically three graphics cards running right now. Two CPUs, all the fucking jazz for that. Makes it warm. All right, let's get our shooter born in heaven. I kind of want to spawn in the back corner. Not here. Hundred and sixty meters up to here, boys. If you're curious, Uh, because I did a whole video quakes on distances on reserve and some of the bigger ones I remember so from this tower to the dome is 460 meters it's one of the farther shots you can do in Tarkov consistently Screenshots. Screenshots give you coordinates of where the screenshot was taken. You can then take that coordinate system, plug it into Excel, and it'll give you a distance. Bunker left. You think he saw me, Stinky?
Good, we'll wait for him to run away. He's far enough away now, Drifter. He was sprinting. I didn't hear him. He ain't going to hear my weapon switch. But hopefully we'll catch him running away. Boy, he's not very thin. He sure should don't look very lost. There he goes right there. Fuck. There's no way. There's no way. Okay. I didn't see him run anywhere, so I, I think it did hit. I wonder if I fucking killed him and, like, hit him in the chest or something. He must have run straight back. Or somebody else killed him. Yeah, if M62 frags, it'll kill him in one hit. Or if he was hurt already when he got up there. No, I, I didn't blow his... I didn't have shooterborn in... I didn't get a shooterborn in heaven, Steezer. See? Still one of three. But I didn't head shoot him. I do want to check my zero though. Where are we hitting? Just under three at 300. Have to remember that. Yeah, we we did three raids looking across Wraith, Wraith and, and we got Gluhar doing that once, but we we haven't seen anybody doing drop down. I don't know what the deal is.
Yeah, reserve can be weird. Sometimes it could have lots of people. Sometimes it won't have hardly anybody. And sometimes it takes fucking 15, 20 minutes to finally see somebody. But I think it's time for us to move. To be honest. See if he hit mark room, and he did. Um, I think it's just because it's late white bathroom is more than anything, dude. I think that's a bigger part, pro, part of the problem right now is it's just late wipe and there's not very many people playing. spot right there is another one of my favorite spots to sit and snipe. It is one of the very few times that I've, uh, played reserve fucking most of the day and we haven't heard a single alarm yet. We need to get our arm stamina back real quick.
he used that opportunity to get away right there. Well played, sir. Well played. Ooh, we might get a shot of Raiders now. Turn the sound down a little, fellas, for you guys. Oh, we hit him. Question is, do we see him again? There's two. There's one raider. You're searching for an answer to a question that there is no answer to. Wait. That was a Raider, right? Where's a raider one at? Kill raiders. There it is. Yep. I mean, that's some juicy bait for a scab to try and go loot right there. I can't fucking see it laid down.
Where's our boy dead at? Right there. And now it's raining. But of course. So we can get a long shot down and kill another raider or two. That was our blueberry boys right there. Fuckers killed my raiders, I think. Ooh, that's not a bad spot, dude. You're right. Yeah, lighthouse should be out before streets. Um, I mean, that was their goal. That's their goal, right? Um, and that's not a product that they're rushing lighthouse. It's a product that streets is taking so long. And um, And streets is going to be like the it's like like a it's a small map like factory. Yep, go loot him. You know you want to. Go loot him. You think he sees me? No. They have no idea I'm here. And a potato is shot like that. back for that. Это не наше, блядь. Gluhar?
so much for bringing extra fucking ammo. That's good to know. Turn that down just a smidgen. Well, count it as a raider kill, dude. I don't think Glucar doesn't count as raider kills, or at least it didn't used to. Yeah, it was 855. Pretty sure I landed that shot. Yep.
Yeah, D2's on. I saw that. All right, we give up the alarm for some fucking rain now. Cool. night. Good night. No, it lights up if you turn the power on, Stinky. As soon as you turn the power on, it lights up. No, it's not the... People don't lie, dude. They just fucking... People just make assumptions about stuff. And they're wrong. I'm wrong about shit all the time. They change stuff, or there's a glitch, or... You know, somebody just happens to look at the wrong time and think it's, you know, it, it only happens when that, when it changes. But as soon as you throw that switch, it, it lights up. And now it might, you know what? It might not turn green until they open the door. They might have to open the door first. That I don't know about. Okay, let's uh, let's go take a Piccadilly, a Piccadilly. We got all sorts of dead boys over there. And that was the train getting ready to leave. You know, I heard it once already. That's the second set of horns I've heard. I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of the fucking train the the alarm all right well we got lots of fucking shit to go loot to start bringing a goddamn oh that's a loud tx-15 oh yeah i need to start bringing a mule for sure
I don't know if we're gonna take that or not. I'm still not sure. Oh, fuck that. I think that's warmage. me i tried to grenade him and go up and then shoot him but he was too close i didn't hear him oh hang on a sec guys yeah. i gotta take a quick phone call here guys
All right, sorry about that, guys. Friday afternoon business call. Finally clear some of this crap out, though, which is nice. Do, 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 do. So, the question is, do we just bring an M4 in? Because that's it, guys. All, that's all we got to do on reserve is fucking shooter born in heaven. That's the last. We got one more kill we got to get. And we can do it with anything. And we can reload and get sniper level four. What other tasks? I mean, we have to go to interchange. We still need to kill. Where's it at? Where's chumming? So we still have to kill one more PMC between 2200 and 10. I just feel like there's better maps to shoot scavs with fucking sniper rifles and run around with and just reload the Mosin. Like, I think that's where we're at at this point is we're just running around reloading the Mosin. We'll go in kind of budget to reserve again. Um, I think. I think we're actually going to hang on to this because we'll end up fucking using it. Um, so we don't have any offers yet. Um, repair that. We'll take you off. Uh, do we got a face mask anywhere? No, we'll go buy one from Ragman. So many raiders. Oh, well, we got the task done. SMB. Oh, we didn't lose our paracord either. That's handy. Do we have a surf kit in here anywhere? We do. Look at that. Look at that. Um, I think we have another. There we go. Okay. Bring that in for bonk and scavs. I did not get a. I did not get shooter born and having done, which sucks. But we can scratch reserve off the list of maps that we still need to play on. I do feel like we need to bring another fucking close range gun though. Just don't know what to bring. The VSSs are so good, but. The weight, man. The weight. Like, what's an MP7 way? 2.3 kilos man that might be the way to go one of these old boys it's a cost to buy one from fucking can it what is a barter it's about the same as long as we got all the rails and shit on it i guess i don't really care Fucking suppressors, the thing, it's kind of a. Is there a barter for a suppressor? Oh, we don't have the barter. How, what do we have to do to get the barter unlocked for that, I wonder? What is the barter caught? What is the. I hate the MP9, dude. I just hate the MP9. 
Yo, what task do we still have to do with him that unlocks that? That's fucking weird. Oh no, it was just for sale. That's weird. Yeah, the, the first bit of it, fuck. I mean, you, if you don't land your first couple of shots, you're just gonna die with the MP9 and the ammo is not as good as this ammo either. Really? I thought I would have had a shift. You know what? It's probably on a gun. At the end of the day, this is very similar to just running a um all right so we'll load the bottom half fmj in these and then apsx bring any psx with us and miraculously we're not overweight part of that's because we're in a rig instead of fucking everything else but i feel like i'm hamstringing myself running that though Is that all the M60? I was gonna say, is that all the M62 I have? That was concerning for a moment. All right, let's try that again. APSX is better than 7N. Um, It's not better than SPP. Is it better than SPP? I think it's basically the same as SPP. It's not better than BP though, but there's not really much of a reason to run BP to be honest with you. Yo, those got expensive. Somebody buy my weapons case. No. Oh, we should probably bring food, huh? Some food. Uh. Or do you mean seven APSX is better than seven and um, the nine mil ammo, Falk? Is that what you meant? If that's what you're asking, then yes, it's fucking way better. Uh, APSX goes through level five armor. Right through it. 
IMO APSX is one of the more busted ammos in the game. Two hit. I mean, it's it's like, sh other than if somebody's got a slick on or you know level six, it's like it's just like a baby M sixty one. I think for an SMG, it should. And if it, if they want to give it fifty some pen, it should only do like thirty damage or something. So it takes three hits to kill somebody. God, we keep spawning underground. One more for Shooter Barn. And then we gotta go to Interchange again. Yay. My appointment is at five, correct? Five PM Friday, June fourth. May just get lucky, boys. This is one of those kind of spawns that's a little bit of all or nothing. Like, it really can depend. But... We get lucky. We get lucky. So the hope is, is that our boy loots over here, gets himself like two items that he wants to get out with in a hurry, and he walks right down this path here towards us, trying to get out safely. And then we shoot him right between the eyes. God, that looks weird right there, whatever that was. Whatever that is, that looks weird. Patience is the name of the game.
We're only gonna give it a minute though. I don't want to sit here and stare for too long because I want to be up there prone looking. Waiting for that potential uh, dome shot. Because another one you can catch people on sometimes is they're, they're trying to snipe manhole from these windows, and you can catch a shot there as well. Hey, Luge, what tourney, buddy? I'm not in it, no, but I, what tourney are you talking about, man? It's raining. It hasn't been raining all day, dude, and it just started on us on last raid. It was actually nice and sunny last raid. was he shooting at us from curious very curious he wasn't shooting at us from up there had to have been from dome right Really bad idea to peek that again. All right, well, we'll just rotate around. And we'll head for the tower back here. He was definitely shooting at us from a long ways away. Where's the hole at? That was a bad choice. So Billy Bob bit dipshit shot at us again, so he can see us from dome. Did you guys hear that round impact on the hill? I did. So he's watching us all the way around. Which means we're going to have a hard time getting a shot off on him versus us first. I think he's in one of the wind. No, he wouldn't be able to see me from there. Where the fuck was he shooting at us from? Fucking weird. I, 
I don't even know where to go now. Like, how do we sneak a shot on this fucking guy? I have this real shit feeling he's looking at us right now. Possible to see up there, dude. Yo, Jake, how's it going, my man? Thanks for the work, buddy. Like, I'm afraid to even sit still right now. Like, where the fuck was he at that he was shooting at us? It was definitely dome. I just don't know where at on dome. Try to get an angle on that from that other tower.
Damn. I think he's fighting Gluhar in there. I think, I think, I think. I need to try and get a good angle on it from the other side all the way around like from that tower right there I need to try to get that shot from there I think Too late. Just too late. Yeah, we got one. It's more the sniper grind, Dick. That's the bigger one, dude. Kind of hoping we were going to get lucky and catch somebody coming out back here, but don't look like it. back over this way, get up in the tower, see if we can shoot a couple of raiders. Level up our sniper to four.
Rain, rain, go away, come again another day. There's a raider, I think. Just saw his butt wiggling right by that fucking tree there. Hopefully he'll, he'll patrol back towards us and we'll see him again. Lob around at him. test how far of a shot that is, shall we? Three. Raiders are a harder form of scav player. Scav raiders. So they're like super geared scavs. They have really good gear, good aim. They play aggressive. They're supposed to be like an AI PMC, essentially is the idea. And whenever somebody hits the alarm, not always, but they spawn they can spawn here by K buildings when they hit the alarm. And they're worth more when you kill them, they're worth more points, more XP. They're only AI. Player scavs can't spawn in his raiders, thank god. It'd be a fucking nightmare. Uh, usually better dick they they have they always have top tier ammo raiders don't always i mean a lot of times they'll have like 855 or 856 and shit raiders always spawn with like 995 or not raiders uh cultists always spawn with like 995 and 855a1 or m61 or you know the high-end ammos bp things like that Oh, super quiet. Reposition. Oh, well, you just get used to it, Limes. You just get used to it, dude. Did I leave my backpack up there? But I didn't. So we're good. Oh. Midnight in Romania. I just saw foots. I just saw little feetsies.
I don't have glasses on, do I? Okay, good. Fucking with both of those, son of a bitch. Hey, Limes. Well, I'm glad you liked it, dude. Potato, potato. Ah, uh, Bucci, we're kind of get trying to do Shooter Born in Heaven, dude, but we need to get sniper skill up, so. I appreciate it, Limes. We try to do one podcast every week. John does a lot of shorts. Um, I'm going to get into doing them more. I need to get into doing them more. Not shorts, but shorter form content, like 5 to 15 minute videos. We're still trying to get sniper skill, Bucci. We got Gluhar, we got Raiders done task-wise today, so that's good. We just need one more Shooter Born in Heaven kill and some scabs. Here comes our boy. I think that's just a regular scab. How many skill points did that give us? Sniper, 36.2, so it gave us like 0.6, I think. You know there's a raider hiding in there though somewhere. Uh, yeah, give me a sec, Mustitude. You guys watch for me, holler if you see anything. I'll get you a link for it right now, man. Oops, wrong. There we go. Oh, there's somebody there, isn't there? Is he going to patrol this way, I wonder? Oh, it's, yeah, it's not an EFT podcast, bud. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, spin back, spin back. We'll take that kill. Another dead raider. How much did that give us? Not very much. 0. 0.2. God, do you think land and headshots would give you like one point? Like if you hit a 100 meter headshot, it should be 0. 0.1. Or one point. One full point. much time we got 21 minutes
Yeah, there, uh, Mustitude, we're on like, I, we're, I think we're on Google Podcasts. In the YouTube video at the bottom, there's links to all of the, uh, the different podcasts we're on. Uh, or go to the Anchor link and it lists them. But we're on Spotify. Uh, I think we're on, we're on iTunes. I think we're on Google. So yeah, you can just listen to the audio one. Nice, good, good to know. Even, have we even seen a PMC yet? I know we've heard, but I don't think we've even seen a PMC this whole raid. You know, it's funny. I bet if, if you open the doors on D2, those two doors across from each other before you turn left to go into the downstairs, you can probably get a 100 meter headshot down that hallway. Be an interesting place to do shooter born in heaven. I wouldn't necessarily call our content edgy, but we are, we, we tread on the edge of stuff, but it's just who we are. You know, we don't do shit for reaction. We're just, we give straight up honest stuff. You use any post effects? I do. I, if you type in uh, exclamation point settings, um, those are the post effects I'm running. This certainly makes it harder to get kills. Oh, well, there was another raider right there. Where's the one that we shot? Seven point six. Are we still diminishing return? Are we in diminishing returns yet? We are or not. 
Yeah, he. I watched him walk down, Dick. Do you guys have restrictions like 2200 p.m. Don't go outside. What are you talking about, Lime? You mean here where I live, like the government restriction kind of thing because of COVID? Shit, it's dark. Yeah, no, they had, they they put some rules on the um, on some of the uh, there we go bars and stuff that you couldn't. Uh, that they had to close at 10 or some fucking stupid thing. But we could pretty much do whatever the fuck we want. And we did. I swear I just saw something, but I guess not. Alright, well. Another raid down, no fucking good kills. He's got one too. Hmm. Shitty ammo though. flashback just had a fucking flashback Not sure how long we got. Uh oh, limes. What'd you do?
Are you pissing Streamlabs off? One minute. Yeah, I don't know what a trigger to dude. Those things can be bot can be dumb sometimes. Our schools were not we so they closed at the end of the year, but we pulled, we pulled the kids out anyway, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, they started back up in the fall. They started back up in the fall, and. Uh, were two a day until October, and then they were full-time back in October. So we've been relatively normal here for the better part of a while. Well, shoot. So there's three whistles, Drifter. There's the the whistle when it shows up. There's a whistle with um, um, the one the one whistle means you have one minute, and then it blows twice when the doors are closing. And you have a couple of seconds to get on when the two whistles hit. There's a couple of seconds that the doors don't close. Like we had a close call earlier, um, but it's not much. And we keep getting Luger CCI. I don't want Luger CCI. Fucking PS. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Reload. Load M62. And we'll give her one more fucking good old college try. Bring in food and water. Yeah, that's the word you're not allowed to use, limes. That is a no-no word on Twitch. Big no no word. Whew. 
Try this again. Oh. Be right back. Yeah, Drifter, that's basically what we talked about on the podcast. John and I on our Two Marine Dads podcast is how ridiculous that was. How absurd and ridiculous that all was. Pretty bad stuff. Hey, 303X. Well, appreciate it, man. Yeah, interchange rough, dude. Interchange is rough. It was... It was a pretty tough day, dude. I'm not gonna lie, man. That was a really, really tough day in Tarkov. It, fuck, man. Raven and Shroud. That's all we need. You know, I wasn't even thinking about it, but Raiders are a great place to get Shroud masks. spawn over here. I mean, there's already shooting. How is there already shooting?
It is true, the reserve spawns are pretty unforgiving. boy. Just keep her going. Perfect. He didn't see me. All right, guys, here we go. We got to let him get far enough away to get our 100 meter. <gasps> what are the odds of him tur run it? He turned right as I shot. He turned right as I shot. Nice, Limes. It's a really good build, man. It really is. All right, I think we pushed to that tower now. What the fuck, dude? I didn't even know you could fall out of that fucking thing. No idea there was even, you could even do that. Lots of Ash 12s today. What do we got here? Ultra Nozzler, that's fucking handy. Super glad that's here to pick up. Shave weight here a little bit.
And there's an M4 shooting over there. Be nice if we go get eyes on that. I can't believe he turned right as I shot, dude. Fuck. room keys generic or map specific they're room specific so there's two marked room keys for this map um, and they're different than any of the others customs has its own marked room key oh there's three for this map i'm sorry three for this map now If it says mark room, it's for customs. The keys on reserve are like RB dash something. That's they're all RB dash somethings. Fighting is. Uh, I'm not sure what their plan is for that musitude. I, I mean, when they go to open world concept, it's going to change a lot of shit in the game and the way it works. You know, there's a lot of mechanics that are in the game right now that are just in here to make the game viable as a beta. That were never intended to be in the game at the end. A lot of stuff is like that. So pissed that we missed that fucking guy. Well, it's because usually the high ground is synonymous with standing somewhere here where you're completely silhouetted. So if you can get somewhere where you're not silhouetted, like where I like to sit in these trees right here, it's really hard to see you. Players don't even often know you're there. And... Come on, boy, give me a shot.
There's a player scav. He'll come this way. That's him shooting right there, actually. I wonder who he just blasted. Far away from fucking four. Several kills, it looks like. Fucking B hopping scab player, man. What is with these fucking guys moving right as I shoot? I don't get it. Yeah, it's just really desync, dude. I was thinking, I, I was wondering, maybe he was thinking we'd go take this extract together. But I want the points. I want the sniper skill points, not the fucking loot. Probably laughing at how much of a fucking potato I am. Yeah, supposedly you get some kind of bonus if you extra if you use the scav extracts, you get some kind of bonus loot. He did wiggle me, Mustitude. As soon as he saw where I was shooting at him from, he wiggled at me, but I didn't. I, I, want, I need the sniper points, man. I think he was just hoping I didn't kill him, is all he was doing. But I don't trust no fucking scabs. Have a shot. I 
Yeah, exactly. That's exactly Josie Wales. That's exactly what would have gone down there. I come down and act like we're going to fucking be friends and he just shoots me with that fucking foul he's got. Game over. I don't know anybody who has ever gotten an exit. Ever. I mean, I like the idea of them. I don't think they should get rid of them. They just need the incentive program needs to change and scav karma should do that. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. I don't care how much scab karma they do to it. I'm still never going to trust a fuck. Unless I'm like a pistoling with no loot. Like the scab has better loot than me. And I need to fucking get out. I mean, maybe when VoIP shows up, but. For the most part, must too. They'll still be able to strafe, but there'll be a big pause before they change directions. So there's still that player scab we shot at up there. I don't know where he went. Killed him by shooting him in the leg. He was fighting somebody, though. Or was he shooting at somebody at the tower? He was shooting at somebody at the tower. I don't know if we can get a good shot at that. He's looting my boy. Well, we're gonna have a nasty little fucking surprise for him once he uh, stands up.
I wonder if I can hit him through those pallets. I just don't want to scare him off. That's a fucking player, dude. Unless it's a scab that picked up Raider gear. You think he got away? I don't think he knows where he got shot from. The dead fucking player up there on that LMG. That's where that scab is headed. That other player, that player scab is headed over there. Is that player still fucking laid down right there, dude? I feel like he fucking skedaddled on us. I think he got away. Pretty sure he did, actually. I think when we were trying to run up, he kept running forward and uh, went underground on us, which is unfortunate.
I do not know, dude. I don't know what he was doing. Pretty sure I was low on that shot. But it'll sure as fuck get him off the top of that tower. Just saw somebody right there, too. It looked like he had a scoped gun, though, which is kind of fucking scary. Yo, he had some serious loot on him. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. Uh, this will be my last raid, but then I gotta, um, go get a haircut at five. Okay. 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 Sounds good to me. I was gonna go shoot him with my fucking sniper rifle, then he kills me. <laughs> oh. oh no. Head nape. Head eyes? Wow. Guy hit a pretty good shot. I'll give him that. I should have just fucking killed him instead of fucking toying with him. Never play with your food, guys. Don't ever play with your food. That's what happens. Rip. Ah. <sighs> Thank you.
Yeah, it was a player scab scab limes. Player scab, player scab, player scab. Player scab. Well, I'm hoping he's got like five heavy bleeds and all sorts of other shit and fucked up legs that he can't even get up there. And it's going to take him forever to get up there. He might not be able to get out with my gear because um, if his legs are fucked and he doesn't have any way to unblack them, you know, he might get up there and get my shit, but I don't know if he's going to get out with it or not. All right, guys. Well, that's where we're going to wrap it up. I got to go get a shower, shave off this fucking nasty beard and uh go get a haircut so i don't look like a fucking homeless person anymore um we'll see what church pulls off if we'll get uh another alpha to kappa done this evening um i think he will we had four of them we were working on last night so that's where we'll head with him didn't i have my serve kit in my backpack oh fuck i might have dick yeah i saw it mustitude But I think that's where we'll wrap her up, guys. We'll call her. We'll call her there. I'm gonna go do some adult stuff. Thanks everybody for hanging out. Appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you guys all on the next stream. Everybody have a good night. Safe weekend too.